good day how to solve this problem 9 raised to power x plus 12 raised to power x equals to 16 raised to power x now from here let's divide through by 9 raised to power x so we have 9 raised to power x divided by 9 raised to power x then 12 raised to power x divided by 9 raised to power x equals to 16 raised to power x divided by 9 raised to power x then here we have this divide each other and we have 1 then plus here we have this can be written again from the law of indices as when we have a raised to power m divided by b raised to power m we can write it as a over b then all raised to the power of m so now we can write this again and say this will be 12 divided by 9 then all raised to power x which is equal to also here we have 16 over 9 then all raised to power x then from there we can reduce this and we have inside this bracket 3 can divide so we have 1 plus 3 divide 12 that's 4 and 3 divide 9 that's 3 so we have 4 over 3 there then all raised to power x and also from here we can write 16 to a power of 2 and also 9 to a power of 2 so we have 4 raised to power 2 give us 16 also 3 raised to power 2 will give us 9 and then all will be raised to power x then from here we can also write this from the law of indices and take 2 out so we have 1 plus 4 over 3 all raised to power x will then be equal to 4 over 3 raised to power 2 then all raised to power x so from here as well we can interchange this power from the law of indices when we have a raised to power n then multiply by n we can write it as a raised to power mn which can also be written as a raised to power n then raised to power m so when we interchange this power from here we have 1 plus 4 over 3 all raised to power x equals to so x we come in to we go out we have 4 over 3 raised to power x then all raised to power 2 so from here we can use a letter to represent 4 over 3 raised to power x so let a letter u now be equals to 4 over 3 then raised to power x then we can write this again we have 1 plus u now then we equals to u square then when we use this to form a quadratic equation we can take what is on the left here so we have u square from here we have u square then minus u minus 1 will be equals to 0 then we can solve this quadratic equation using quadratic formula we have a here to be equals to 1 b here to be equals to minus 1 and c as well is minus 1 so from quadratic formula that u will now be equals to minus b that's minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of b square minus 1 square then minus 4 a then c so minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 over 2 a 2 times 1 then when we solve this from here this will be equal to so u will be equal to minus times minus is plus that's one plus or minus square root of we have minus one squared as one then minus times minus that's plus plus four over two then u will then be equal to one plus or minus square root of five all over two and uh, from here we have two you know solutions here now we have the first value of u we have u is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2 
and also have u to be equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Then, from what we represented u as, we understand from here that u will be greater than 0. That means, here we have a number greater than 0, and here we have a number less than 0. So, here we won't have a solution here. Now, we work with this value of u here. Then, since u is the same thing as 4 over 3 raised to power x, so we can say from there, 4 over 3 raised to power x will then be equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. So we have that. Then, from here, since we are finding the value of x, we can take the log on both sides. Then the log on this side, we have log 4 over 3 raised to power x. Then the log on this side, we have log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then, since we can apply log log in here, this power of x can come to the back, and we have x log 4 over 3, then equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then we can divide both sides by log 4 over 3. So when we divide both sides, we have divided by log 4 over 3 here, then also divide by log 4 over 3 here. Then for log 4 over 3, we cancel each other here. So we have x left here. Then we be equals to this can be written and uh, we separate it from law of log reading and we are writing log 1 plus root 5. Then division will become minus. So minus log 2 now. Then divided by, also from here, we can separate that, and we have log 4, also minus log 3. And here we have the value of x. So when we, we can use our calculator to, you know, simplify this, and we get the approximate value of x. And here we have come to the end of the class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more of our videos. And see you in the next class, and bye for now.